Blue Walker 3, the test satellite that all ASTS investors are excited for. The satellite that will prove that the technology works, that the team knows what they're doing. So let me give you a brief sit wrap or situational report on Blue Walker 3. Let's get into it. Blue Walker 3. First, quick overview, what is Blue Walker 3? Well, to understand what role Blue Walker 3 will fulfill, we first could understand the ASTS business plan. And in dum dum language, ASTS wants to create a fancy satellite array up in space, which shoots down fancy 4G and 5G signals to your smartphone. And well, they are one of the first ones to ever really attempt this. There is no current smartphone to satellite or satellite to smartphone constellation. And let me be fully fair, ASTS hasn't really achieved this just yet either. However, ASTS has previously launched a different test satellite, Blue Walker 1, back in 2019, which was a pretty smart move. You see, Blue Walker 1 is this really tiny satellite shown here and they used it in a pretty ingenious way, but they did not use this satellite as they will use their future test satellites and their future Bluebird satellites for the actual constellation. Basically, Blue Walk 1 was just a fancy smartphone like you're carrying in your pocket launched to space. Why would ASTS do that? Well, thanks to Blue Walk 1, ASTS was able to perfect their technology down here on Earth. On Earth, where mistakes are easily fixable. So basically, to test their technology, ACS shot their signal up from Earth, received it in space, and sent a signal back down here to Earth. And this is actually the exact same way the Bluebirds will operate in the future, or how the actual ASTS constellation will operate in the future. But this is just the other way around, which is, in my opinion, a pretty smart move. But now, with Blue Walker 3, it is finally time for the real thing. It is now finally time for a full-size satellite to be shot up to space to test the real technology the right way around. And like I said earlier, Blue Walker 3 is that test satellite. It is that satellite that will prove the technology works once and for all. So this is the most recent picture of the Blue Walker 3 satellite that the CEO of ASTS published on his Twitter account. And of course, a member of the space mob turned that one picture into this insane render so full credits to Nico Pan on the AST Space Mobile subreddit. Anyways, this satellite, Blue Walker 3, will look very similar to the Bluebird satellites that will make up the actual constellation in the future. And if this bad boy works, if ASTS can get the satellite to do everything they expect it to, well, that will legitimize the ASTS tech, it will legitimize the company, but it will also de-risk the hell out of the ASTS company. But it is also important to note that the Blue Walker 3 will still be quite a bit different than the Bluebird satellites of the future. For example, the Blue Walker 3 test satellite will make use of a more modular FPGA or field programmable gate array, rather than the ASICs or application specific integrated circuits we expect to find in the Bluebirds. Important to note, an ASIC is less power consuming and it should be cheaper to produce, but it is also not modular. So that means once you shoot an ASIC up to space, you can never change the characteristics of that system. The ASIC will always operate the way you shot it up to space. And for a test satellite, well, having some modularity makes a hell lot of sense, which is why ASTS went with FPGA instead. So now it is time to talk about the Blue Walker 3 launch, and launch-wise, we are still expecting a summer launch for Blue Walker 3, which according to Google would mean anywhere between the 21st of June until the 23rd of September. And in my opinion, the last two months, so August and September are most likely. And of course, we did recently get this 8K filing. So basically, we are looking at a multi-launch agreement between AST Space Mobile and SpaceX. And this agreement runs all the way until December 2024. And the terms of this multi-launch agreement include the launch of the Blue Walker 3 test satellite and the first Bluebird satellite. Also, SpaceX and ASTS have established a framework for additional launch surface agreements related to the launch of future Bluebird satellites. And as we can see here, ASTS will pay an aggregate $22.75 million for this launch agreement. And that, that is pretty big. 
ACS is now verbally, but especially monetarily honing in on that summer launch. And if the company weren't confident in their latest time frame, well, they also wouldn't be paying this fee. But now the last Blue Orchid 3 update we'll talk about in this video. I don't understand how they keep doing this, but Reddit user Katze Apex has deducted from this one picture that the center of mass is slightly ahead of the center of track on the Blue Walker 3 test satellite. You see, if these two lines, the center of mass and the center of track, were at the exact same spot, the satellite would be a spinny boy in space. It would look like a freaking frisbee. And well, Katze Apex seemed to argue that with a slightly leading edge center of mass, well, the satellite will be way more predictable in flight. They argued that with a slightly leading edge center of mass, it would almost be like an arrow flying in the air. An arrow also has more mass at the tip, which makes it way more predictable in flight. So yeah, those are the main Blue Walker 3 and the main ASTS updates I have for you guys today. Please do let me know what you think of this more technical type analysis. Also, please do let me know what you want me to talk about next. And now, thank you so much for watching. Peace.